The first sponsor of this week's podcast is InkedGaming.com. Are you looking to get a custom playmat? Well, then we suggest you check out InkedGaming.com. They have custom playmats, dice bags, mouse pads, and much, much more. Shout out of a cannon. James, what would you get on a playmat if you had to pick one right now? Seven Swell from Rekka 7. What is that? It's like the after. It's the aftermath of like them launching a nuke, practically. I love nuke. I love nuke. I love nuke. Yeah. Um, technically, it's like a reaction between like a robot and. Well, you can <laughs> you can get it you can get it on a play mat. What would you get? Uh, I'm changing. I'm Izuken. Izuken. Yeah. What is that? Stop. New anime. No. New anime. anime right now. Yeah. I fall in love with it. Is it, he, is it really good? It's it like Ed and Eddie the it's, anime. So it's it the has way been described, described as if Ed and Eddie was an anime about three girls making an anime. Wow. Well, it is also made by the same guy that made Ping Pong the Animation. I'm super in. You could definitely get that on a playmat <laughs> with InkGaming.com. <laughs> Spider-Man, obviously. Uh, they even recently added stitched options to their playmats and mouse pads as well. I've got a couple of these stitched playmats. They are exceptionally good. They're so, so good. They just never fray. They never curl. Nothing. Um, so if you want to get 10% off of your order, please use the code TCGUniversity, all caps, no spaces at checkout, and help support the channel by customizing your game to your style. In addition to Ink Gaming, we've also got Cards Custom Build. Are you in a cosplay? Looking to get in a cosplay? Or you want to show up to events, dress as your favorite character? Well, Cards Custom Build can help. Cards Custom Build creates everything from cosplay accessories like props, trinkets, or weaponsry, all the way to full costumes. Full stop. James, if you had Cards Custom Build making something right now, what would it be? It could be anything. Full costume or... It would probably be uh, Weiss's weapon from Ruby. Are you sure? Because he could easily make the gun from Gears of War. Easily. The big well, chainsaw there's a, gun? There's a lot. Of, there's a lot I would want. Well, okay? Give me an example. Yeah, you got the Gears chainsaw. Uh-huh. You got the Halo sword. Uh-huh. You got a bunch of things you could do. He would do some sick stuff with the Halo sword. Just saying. It'd be real, real pretty. Tyler, how about you, man? What would you want? Something from Steven Universe, I think. Yeah? yeah. You get the Steven Universe shield? The shield and the sword or like Garnet's Gauntlet. Oh, that'd be cool. Those those sound hype. Those sound hype. So if you uh if you want a cosplay made of perfectly flowing cloth or maybe a want rigid battle armor, the new Mandalorian show just came out and finished. Season two's coming out. He's an expert at making a bunch of nerdy Star Wars stuff. Uh, the work is guaranteed to make you the talk of the con. So go over to Cards Custom Build on either Facebook or on their Etsy account. Link will be in the description down below. Make sure to mention that TCGU sent you uh, their way, and you will get five percent off your entire. Because you wanted to lead us into our next topic, Andrew. Yeah, yeah, go for it, Andrew. Glad to lead us in. Connoisseur, connoisseur, big name. Uh, uh, I want this set so on. bad, not because it's good, but because the freaking little sister is such a meme. Wait, but this set's actually good. Not really. <laughs> wait, what? Not wait, 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 wait. Are you? You're not serious, right? I, I hope you're not serious. I I want to play this this set for one event, and that is the railgun event because but, big meme. <laughs> but like, but like, you're are you serious in saying the set's not good? I don't think it's gonna be played over Wait, Mega Mean. I I think you're I think you're crazy if you don't think that like the the new Sorry. Mega Mean top end is at least something to look at. Wait. It's that definitely is, something to look at. It is I, crazy it take strong. Um, so, Connor, me, explain explain the card for us. All right. So, firstly, I have to explain a union. Um, let okay. me let me find this here exactly. Yeah, um, go ahead. Union? Um, I'll talk. Yeah. I'll talk a little bit about what I think about the set. Um, while he's trying to find that card, uh, I think it's pretty cool that we're getting it because that means Konosuba Yellow gets choice, which is a new trigger that's coming out, obviously. And getting choice is really hype. I think choice is really cool and what it can do, but it just depends on obviously its deck and stuff and the set that it's playing choice in. Um, uh, you got the card? Yeah, I don't know if where you want me to post this for like a picture. Um, do you want me to post it on like Discord? Do you want me to post if you it on put Facebook? It in Discord, they'll be able to see. It. I won't, but they'll be able to okay. see. It. Oh okay, yeah, yep. so, Which will matter so more this is, you'll, this you'll is, has the the Union and the Megamine art on it, and this nice um mm -hmm. anyway so this union which we which you have to have both of these things uh so early play if you have two or more climax in the waiting room on mm -hmm. play heal if you have two or more other adventure magic character it's got hand on core so it's already a hand on coreable early play which is really powerful like holy yeah. cow that's crazy 
And then um, this Mega Mean 3-2, which combos with the comeback trigger in this little picture if, if it shows mm -hmm. up. Um, yep. So it's an on play discard heal the stock, which I'm already I'm already happy with. Like like you know, two yeah, that's one, really one, good. Three, one, yep. It's a heal the uh, stock. Yeah, it's a heal the mm -hmm. stock. So oh, fuck. So at the start of your attack phase, you may pay three, send the comeback climax from your climax area to the waiting room, rest this and rest one of your three two union or a play that are both in your front row. If you do, your opponent chooses one climax from their waiting room. Shuffle all other cards from their waiting room into their deck, then send all characters across from characters that were rested for this effect's cost to clock, then deal three damage to your opponent two times. So what it turns out being is essentially like Fumio for one. So like your opponent refreshes with one less climax. Um, you clock kick twice, burn three twice. For realistically six stock? God. Maybe sometimes four? That's really good value. I mean, it's good value. My problem is there's a lot of holes within... What do you mean? I, effects. I don't think that there's a ton of holes. I think this combo, if you can't get your hand old Megamine combo, then I think this combo is a good card to play. I Plus, you're not playing two soul, uh, two soul proc, which is sometimes pretty nice, which obviously you're playing uh, door, so you get... You get characters back, and so like early in the game, you're like, "Hey, I need this three two yun yun I'm, to early play it." I'm honestly more sold on this combo, especially since they have a brainstorm that says when you play mm -hmm. a comeback, you get to give one of your characters plus one soul, and it's a tap self salvage brainstorm. Wait, so if, okay. instead of playing resonate, you play that, and you can play either the yun yun combo from set one or like some set two, or you can play this new one that has like bounces a hand and gets uh, twin drive. You wanna know what the problem I have with this card is? What? Mm -hmm. It heals. Uh-huh. That's actually the uh -huh. only problem I have with this card. It's an early play that heals. Wait. I hate it, I hate that so much. Dude, like because it's good or because you think it's bad? Because it's good. <laughs> yeah, I it's like, nuts. Honestly, honestly I let, me, think... let me early play this. I'm at two one. Let me early play this at two one and just heal one. You so, know, you know what this my makes stock. me into my stock too. So I paid one to well, play no. this early play. It's not you. you it's a, the early play just heals. The the oh, uh right. the mega mean is uh heal the stock. Oh, so you three one heal the stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I see here? What? Is you see these two level threes in your uh, level three game plus the mega mean that early, that lets you play another mega mean for free. I don't think you play that one. I think your level three game ends up being something like these two level th plus um. Wait, you can play set one three two Mega Mean for actual dig, mm -hmm. um, and I think you could also play the Aqua three two, which isn't bad. Is that, yeah, is that the cool looking deck. one? Is that the cool looking one? That's the the early play one. Yeah, the you, one don't that... play the, you wouldn't play the Fumio in this deck, I don't think. But no, um, uh, your your combo does it, what, so like there's no point. What this does is. It, you are already like I think you have to play the the union early play in a lot of lists that are playing red. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. I think it's just too good to pass up. And then you're just it is like another three slots and a climax slot on the the Mega Mean, and you get such a good payoff off of it. You so, can also play the uh, dead native Mega Mean that I, feels three. I don't think you play that if you're playing three two union. I think three two union is just a better card. I think swimsuit Mega Mean might actually be detrimental to your deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, so the outlook I have on it mm -hmm. is I'm going to be putting in the Brainstormer. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm going to be putting in the 3-2 early play, and then uh -huh. I'm going to pick up a set of the 3-2 that, that does the, the burn, mm -hmm. and I'm going to keep that as an alternative, but I think I'm still going to keep Megamine in my deck just because I, I like the ability to control my damage more with that combo over the burn three twice. Well, wait. That, that's my personal. So, so you're saying your deck of stocks will come back? Yes. Then what's your level one? What? What is your level one in that deck? Uh, wait, no, 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 no. It's, same, it's the same combos that I currently have. Uh-huh. He's saying he doesn't change this new combo. But I'm not changing like... the new combo. I'm only putting in the early play. Oh okay. I'm yeah. Sure. I yeah. 
I guess. I I'm, I just think that having eight comebacks in a deck that is also able to um to like get this much advantage off it because like your comebacks then turn into like discard to get your two soul beater for free effectively yeah i mean i i can see that but i i still i hold the original megamine higher just because it's more controllable i i can see some situations where the three two can do more harm to your deck than than actual like damage the the difference is really in it is you're paying one more stock effectively mm -hmm. for to, two less damage for kind of two less damage i think the three is still probably thick like because you're refreshing your opponent you're paying one stock to refresh your opponent yes which i think is like just like really good <laughs> yeah and, I, uh, and you're also not having to commit another card from hand for two stock because your your the union's gonna stick around for a long time yeah yeah so this this mega mean clock kicks right that's yes. what you said yeah mega okay. mean clock kicks both the characters that's mm -hmm. that's what i thought so and, um it also does not target yeah it doesn't so it gets around hex proof it gets around armor yeah because it chooses chooses, it. chooses the cards in front of it so yeah. it chooses the slots, not the actual characters, where Mega Moon actually just chooses the character in front of it. Yeah. There's yeah. some other support for this uh, for this um, package. And like, there's a way to pick up the climax. There's a way to yep. refresh your deck with it. I think there's like a bunch of stuff you could put in here. It's hard to fit all of it in there, because I think the deck currently is very tight for slots. Yeah, um, for sure. But I do think that there is some merit to, at the bare minimum, you play playing this combo, playing some of the support also is cool. Um, like th there's like a whiz that's a two one level assist with pay to discard a card, if you have the uh, the climax combo in play to pick up the climax. Yeah. Which, and then th at that point you're guaranteeing that you have it. Um. But like. This is all theory crafting because the set's not even out in Japanese yet. It comes out next week. It comes out in English. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes out in English sometime. I, I, I don't know. I'm still gonna, I'm gonna keep my deck pretty much as is, other than the few changes. But then I'm gonna, I'm gonna theory craft and test more with it before I give it the official slots. The the other thing that I I think is worth at least testing, that's really cool, is there is a, um an aqua 3-2 that's an on play heal gains mm -hmm. 500 for each of your other adventurer or goddess characters so she put, gets up to 11k on full board and is mm -hmm. on attack if you have gate climax in climax area you may pay one mill the bottom two cards of your opponent's decks mill two bottom two of your opponent's deck if there are no climaxes among them deal one damage to your opponent twice yeah i, I think that's also uh, I think pay that's, one pay one ditch one mill two no it's is pay one untack pay one they mill two and then mm. Uh, mill two okay. from bottom specifically, and then yeah. if you hit no climaxes, burn one. Burn one twice. I think it's at least worth testing. I am unsure that if it's actually really good. good. I think that's like... that. I think this whole set just has upgrades for each color that you'd much rather play. Like I think this red combo is nuts because it literally does what Megamine does, but better because you not only get rid of your opponent's board, which it's hard to do with regular Me Megamine. Mm -hmm. uh, against like certain matchups, obviously AOT is a very prominent thing, and so you're clock kicking their Mikasas if they don't kill you, and AOT doesn't really have a way of getting them out of their out of their clock without actually yeah. healing. Well, so I, I think I, AOT also faces an issue of starting to gain auto lose matchups, or almost auto lose matchups. Yeah, and so I like this. This combo is really hype. I think a lot of people will change to this combo because this combo obviously does better. A burn three is more consistent than a burn four uh, just by ways of showing it's because of how last shot seen on is compared to just a regular burn three. Like, burn fours are hard to stick. One and... thing that is relevant, though, one thing that's mm -hmm. relevant is your other slot you swing with will not have the soul bonus from your climax. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. So you want to probably put a two soul beater in there of some sort. What you put in there, I don't know, but uh, mm -hmm. you are not swinging for the the full three or two with it. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. it it that that also has like interesting implications because you you can put in something that is like not relying on needing to front or something. You can like side well, for one. Uh, didn't you say there's a brainstormer that says give a soul when you play? Yeah, game? yeah, you can you can pump soul with that if you want to. Yeah, uh, but that's pretty nice. You don't want to, so mm -hmm. yeah. So there's that. Um, there's a couple other cards. There's the aqua that attacks for free, right? Yeah, they that it's a twin driver that can next or dodge soul penalty. Yep. So that's uh, that's a really guard if you're playing blue still. So like. Yeah, there's a, there's some interesting stuff in each color. My issue that you have to like have it dedicated for those decks yeah um, you have to dedicate that main color the most mm -hmm. interesting card to me in japanese meta not in english meta because i think this card is absolute garbage in english meta and i think it's hard to play in japanese meta but if you can it's really good uh there's a one one event that you have to have a cosma to be able to play it but it's mm -hmm. it, it's a yellow one one event that either salvages bounces a front row from your or bounces one of your opponent's front row, or if your opponent has five or more memory, you send all characters from their memory to the waiting room. Yeah, that's more relevant in Japanese than yeah, it, in it English, obviously. Matchup, but uh, yeah, and, yeah, because I kind of love shoving. Yeah. But that, but that, in English, there's there's nothing like that, so it, you don't really get to do anything with it. Yeah, not really. Um, um, it's just better situational calling card because calling card likes to do that, but calling cards are restricted to level one, I believe. Class zeros or something? Yeah, I, uh, I think it just has interesting implications. Mm -hmm. Um, is the one one event restricted to level or cost to bounce? Nope. Mm -mm. You just I can it, I can see it being handy in English, but like that's yeah. like the only matchup I really see it being relevant is well, two matchups is Fate and Priestess. Um, fair. But that's yeah. even if people play Priestess, hey, to be honest. Priestess. And also hey. ReZero Amelia. I just, I just bought yeah, Priestess. Yeah, I guess. The the issue that the, the card has both in both languages is you have to find playable Cosmos, and there are barely any. Yeah, the only one that really comes up to mind real zero quick zero. right now is the zero zero that says on play, pay one, ditch one, or, or look at top three, grab a dude, um, there is or the grab one a card. There is the plays Aqua. But my my issue with this card, my issue with playing Cosma in general, mm -hmm. is you have to be able to fix yellow. Yeah, that's the other big downer. Yeah, yellow is very high rolly. <laughs> I wouldn't and even call it hard. high roll. I just call it bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that deck can high roll, but like I mean, that high roll is like really high rolling though. Trust me, from like playing the deck, like but I played I the think deck enough. Or a high roll in that deck is infinitely worse than anything oh, yeah. you could do in, in the other decks. Oh, yeah. So it's, just, it's, uh, it's on the level of Batman Ninja. That's I'm where I put it. i to say that it's bad. And I think that almost every single yellow card in this set is... Or in, in Konosuba is bad. Outside of, like, Snipe Cosma, the one, the Cosma that lets you... Yep, yep. I know which one. Yep. And... I, I don't even know. I think those are the only two that are, like, good. Mm -hmm. Or at least playable. Um, I'm I'm not inclined to call Snipe Cosmo good at all. Uh, I think it's a playable card. I think that it has its uses in metagame stuff, but eh. you can play the zero zero darkness from first set that says uh, pay one pay one tap this clock yourself search for an adventurer. I think that is outdated, and you get debated by playing it. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> um. But yeah, just KS3 is more good cards, and I think people should at least, at the so, bare minimum, look at that Mega Mean 3 mm -hmm. So with the, uh, with the release being so close, both to from like JP to English, how, how would you guys feel about like simo releases? We've done that before, and it led to How's very it? interesting metagames. I mm -hmm. love and hated the AOT metagame, because, like, the AOT set one metagame, because the set was so... at the same time? The, it, yeah, so we... No, we got it earlier than JP. But Ooh. basically what ended up happening is nobody knew what to do with the set. So, like, we had people playing 2-2s, like, 
like the trap play two two, and other people just didn't know what the set did because like who actually played AOT? It had yeah, <laughs> it it wasn't a great set I think, but it was it had some good cards, but nothing to exploit it. And then it set two released at the same time, and uh, well, the effects of that are still showing where yeah, English yeah, is yeah. on uh, English is on Aaron Mikasa and JP is on eight returns. Or mm -hmm. sometimes they're playing two level one combos. Yeah. And every, the two like, level one combo terrible. deck is very. Um, oh, the two level one combo is actually pretty hype. That deck's an actually really hype. Deck, but like... I think mm -hmm. that in a meme snow meta game, if you're expecting that set to have a good percentage of rep, you should consider playing eight return. Because you don't want to auto lose a round, because you you queued up into the guy that has anti burn one. Yep. Uh, uh, but yeah, that's me. That's me. I play Lock Horizon. <laughs> but yeah, basically, just like some of the releases are interesting because they lead to different. But yeah, with right. me, so many different ideas go out yeah. in the same time, the, and so like everyone's trying everything to see what I, seems it's better. It's just like with the release of like. With how like things are getting pushed back, like we, it would be cool uh, to see like just start seeing Samo releases on things. Um, mm -hmm. if they just start trying to even out everything. I think if you want to look at like how a Samo release would play out, just look at any English original, and you'll get the results because it's basically the same thing. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Uh, well, like, I think card I think people in a, people playing English suck at deck building. Um, and then you have the people in English that say the people in Japan suck at deck building. It, it's an never now, let ending. Me, let me restate argument. this. There is no right, originality. Sure. There's no originality in English in uh, English deck building. There's no originality in JP deck building. That's very true. It's very I true for I both. I, I think if you look at both sides of the argument, essentially once the meta is defined, people follow it, and that's yeah, regardless yeah. of where you're playing. The, the thing about that's just how card games work. The thing about JP that I've noticed that's less prominent in English but still kind of there is that JP players will dedicate themselves to a deck until it gets killed by the ban list. And even then, they will still they will still try and find a way to make that deck work. Did you remember those good old days? Dude, when you know fate was, used to be playable? <laughs> dude, you know what was sweet? Back in the day, Kantai got hit by a list. Then it got hit by another list. Then it got hit by another list. And then it got hit by another list. And then, <laughs> and then dead. Connor stopped playing Kantai. <laughs> no, this is all JP. True. This is all before I played Kantai. And then it got a um, it got third fleet, and then it became playable, and then it got hit by another list. And then it got fourth fleet. <laughs> But yeah, it, it it actually we came to, came to a point where it's like it's actually trying to still be playable. And so um, Connor's life. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think. I think it was also Monogatari got like two lists or something because people were playing one thing and then they're like, oh hey, well if we play this other thing and then they're like, stop, just stop, yeah. <laughs> play our I, new stuff. <laughs> I will never be able to play IMS season two. Oh yeah, sadly, no, you're, you're never playing IMC G two. You're never playing Monogatari second season, and oh. uh, Does, we're never getting Kona Super at it. Sweet, Connor. Oh, English has I know English has like a couple of them, but we have like nothing, right? What do you mean for like oh. uh, for like anything like a band? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So, right? so we have one card uh, band. We have, we have Limited. Batman, right? Yeah. So Batman yeah. got hit because of I'm naming. poor wording. Names. Yeah. It's not poor wording. It's I love two development teams working at the same time and nobody having communication. So <laughs> something just messes up unintentionally, and then they're like, "We can't actually let this happen. No, we we can't." I'm gonna be honest. I wanted it to happen just because literally anyone who knew knew what they were gonna play against would just be like, "Oh, okay." And then um, it it also just leads to incredibly toxic gameplay. Oh. But um, and then the thing with uh with bait. Was it wasn't really a restriction list. It was really just them saying, "Hey, we we, we kind of had to use the the translated names above because that's what the the thing's supposed to be. But like, these have the same names, so we kind of can't really do that. So you kind of can't really put them in the same deck. All right. So you don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. You can't play it. Unfortunately, you can't play eight. 
names. Yeah, so like, but like, we just don't have like a real list. We just have like, we yeah, have like a functional, but, a functional game list. But basically. the thing is, the thing yeah. is, our meta game has still been evolving, and yeah. you'll, for for whatever it's worth, you mm-hmm. still have people that are diehards to their decks. I know people that still are like AOT is the best deck in the game. I'm still gonna play AOT. I'm like, I, why would I play anything else? I, I it's real strong. It is. It's been real uh, strong. And guys, uh, all right, I'll, I'll be right back. I actually have to do something real quick. Oh so no, guys. we lost them. Oh no, big rat. But yeah, that's. I, that I think that's basically history. everything to talk about Konosuba. Well, so did we go over? I might have missed this. Do we go over the one zero Megamine from the set? Oh, the one zero Megamine that has twin drive and bounces back to hand. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's about as much as I want to talk about because, like, realistically, it's an option. You can play it. Is I think it, you still play Union over it just because you're in need of stock so much. I think it's it's variable. You you play it or you play Union. You don't play both. And well, like I I think oh. that the the twin driver has very interesting implications, if only for the fact that you can pump Soul on it. I mean, it 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 did work in uh, Psychono. Well, the difference with Psychono, it's like, wait, it, it was loopable on a Treasure CX, but yes. I think that Megumin being able to side profitably a lot of the time is definitely, at the bare minimum, interesting, if not mm-hmm. just really good. Yeah. Um. It's you have to change your build for it, but I think it's it's definitely something. You, I don't think you can ever play uh, resonate in that build. Yeah, um, that's fair. it's too much stock. You can play brainstorm, but I don't think you can effectively do brainstorm resonate in the build. And if you're gonna do a back row, you choose brainstorm um, in that build. So I'm actually laying out my deck right now, and I'm I'm looking resonate and brainstorm in the same build. Um, the thing that I'm going to be cutting and putting more of in is I think Covered and Snot Aqua is going to be moved up just because I, I have so much stock need in the deck. You're having to cut slots other places and it's really awkward. Yeah. Well, I mean, if I cut if I cut s- Swimsuit, I'm cutting uh, the 3-2 from second set. Yeah. I, th- I, mean, I, think that, I think there's a lot of theory crafting that should be done. Like mm-hmm. A lot of testing still needs to be done. I think people, if you're considering testing it, um, you can always try Tabletop Simulator. It's an option. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's probably one of the better options for playing online. There's mm-hmm. there's tutorials for it and whatnot. Um, otherwise, this this whole like quarantine nonsense will definitely be over by the time Konosuba releases. Uh, and because I expect a release date in like October, November, or December. Fair. Yeah. So, like it feels like we've had like a something get announced like every week the last like four weeks. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. we've gotten we've gotten meme snow, we've gotten Adventure Time, Time, and we've gotten uh Code Super Three. It just seems like every single week we talk about something new about getting coming out or something. Yeah. Well. Hey. Hey, live. <laughs> hey. You know what's gonna happen? We're gonna be, we're gonna be uh, wanting something to come out in like two months from now, and then nothing's yeah. gonna happen, and then it's gonna be, like, where's our new sets? Yeah. Where's my Franks? Yeah. Franks is is on Crunchyroll. You can go watch it. I've seen Whoa. it. Yeah, watch it again. So Start Connor, serious hands. question. Yes, serious question, serious response. So if I was to play the new yellow darkness combo, do you My, think it's worth it? Do you think it's worth it more than the dark combo that's out right now in Konosuba set the two? The new darkness combo? Yes. Okay, let me see here. Because as you know, I have a mono yellow deck and I only play it because it's like a meme, like but yeah. I wanna know if I should upgrade that new combo because i think okay, it's so on attack reason, and when it's attacked yeah, you burn yeah, one or something i'm 
looking at. Okay, so mm-hmm. for each of your other adventurer or magic characters, this gains 500. When this is mm-hmm. placed on stage from hand or via merge, look at up to three cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one card from among them at your hand, send the rest to waiting room. Auto mm-hmm. climax combo in this attacks if you have the choice climax in the climax area and you have four other adventurer or magic characters until the end of your opponent's next turn, this gains the following ability. This ability activates up to once per turn. When this card's damage or the damage of the character across from this is canceled, you may deal mm-hmm. one damage to your opponent. Mm-hmm. Um, it's cool. I don't know if it's good, but you can yeah, play this at level two, probably. I don't know what the the merge, the merge conditions. Is. Yeah, yeah, but... uh, because the darkness combo I'm using right now is uh, when this card attacks, you pay one. I think ditch one, and you give one of your characters on cancel burn one or on cancel burn two. So what I do is I usually stack it onto my uh, veneer. And so Veneer will yeah. attack as a final attack, and if they block it, because like they're almost dead, it's just like it's the mill for Veneer, and then it's the burn two, burn two. Yeah, I, I think it's it's on a better trigger. So like, at the mm-hmm. bare minimum, obviously tested what? Obviously, I think it's yeah. a two soul proc for that combo. Yeah, so I think you test it, you see how mm-hmm. it goes. If the trans or like the uh, the merge thing is actually mm-hmm. good then cool if not like i don't think hard playing this is that bad it does cantrip yeah so um i think a lot of the stuff you just have to kind of test with to see if it works out because some yeah. of it some of it sounds good on paper some of it seems bad on paper some of it might play out better yeah for mm-hmm. sure you never know mm-hmm. yeah. um, uh, so right now we are still mm-hmm. where, where'd it go no no oh, I said, there we go we are sitting at maybe about 45 minutes, so we can still probably do... I I don't know how long you guys think compression versus decompression will take. We can we can save it for another day, because I think it's, we it's just It's a good won. topic, and I think we might go for a while on it. Yeah. I think it's, uh, it might be I think it could be a own concept, yeah. Um, just because I think spending five minutes on it or something wouldn't wouldn't do justice it would not do justice for it no yeah. so i think we it might just be better to like cut it here and start we can also just like do you guys have anything small you want to talk about nothing too big but just um why schwartz related do, do, do. God, uh, I, related I, want, I want tournaments that again i want yeah, to dude, go I, to I a want, goddamn shop <laughs> Yeah, I want a not stale metagame because right now we are in the same metagame we were in effectively two months ago, and yep. it's not like it's. Uh, I mean, granted, there, what there was a right... there was a while there where we were just getting new good shit on well, top of new good shit. <laughs> well, like right, what we're in right now wouldn't be any different if this hadn't happened, um, because Fujimi Fantasia would have come out in two weeks but like just knowing that we're going to probably be like this for another like month and a half or something Maybe sounds awful fair. yeah yeah that's fair and i'm tempted um, to proxy out the uh eight standby deck for fantasia bunko and have it test against like re-zero yeah although I do against it to be you honest know I, you know what i forgot to do today which i meant to do yeah well, I gotta, I gotta message our good friend Larry and let him know that I'm down to split a case with him. <laughs> uh, well, no, uh, me, Larry, and Chris are actually gonna be splitting a case of Data Live, I believe. So I'm not sure how much he'd go a into Fantasia Banco. Is it a well, no, 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 no. I'm yeah. talking about, I'm talking about Konosuba. Oh, Konosuba? Yeah, like way in I the would, future. I would buy all the yellow stuff. <laughs> I mean, I have no need for it, so I'm I'm down with that. But I'm yeah. sure Larry probably has no problems with that. I'm honestly considering picking up a ReZero deck because I want to tr- play like Amelia combo. ReZero? Hey Connor, guess who has one? Do you have three two Amelia combo? Uh, yes. No. Don't talk to me. I have all the stuff. Yeah. I have it. I have even the stuff for. See Connor, I have the good Amelia combo. There's Which just one? some fo- the one zero. Uh, Mhm. I play both. I'm playing a draw. Um. Oh God, what? So Connor. What do you mean? Oh both? no, a draw is actually not bad. A-draw's I just don't like it. Yeah, yeah, I just don't like it. I, I yeah, I don't like it. Um. So Connor, I do have the full deck, and I have three two Amelias with 
with climaxes and like now, the stuff to switch over to uh, eight draws. Now, are you selling it? No. <laughs> You can't just do that to me! Oh I, I can totally do that to you! Oh my god. Lies. <laughs> Connor over here. I need so to find new friends. After, after this this podcast, I'm going to look up the price of it, and if it's too expensive, I'm just going to cry my eyes out. What's too expensive? Probably four Connor. bucks? Uh, Connor. No, it's, it's Connor. Now, hear me out on this, Connor. Huh. Would you trade me your uh, bunny girl deck? Oh God, no, probably not. Then no thanks. <laughs> I think I I appreciate my Bunny Girl deck, man. I I am. I think I think that I, I think that deck is sick. Yeah. Like I told you, I told you that one day when we were there Saturday, I believe, where I was just like, this is probably something I would build because like I think that deck is hype. You heard it here first. He appreciates his Bunny Girls, dude. All day, every day. Who doesn't appreciate a good Bunny Girl? Uh, <laughs> I was gonna have an answer for that, but like I lost it. Honestly, probably probably a good thing, right? Yeah, probably. I probably would have said something dumb, like usual. But it's like whatever. Dude, always. I always say something dumb. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Just waiting for Bunny Girl set two. Hey hey. Yeah, it's gonna be rough. Uh... Do you guys have anything, anything small things, any like last statements for the podcast, guys? Rip my wallet for slime. Oh god, I'm so upset right now. Why? Because I just, I just did the changes with what's been shown for Konosuba, and I added it up. It's like half the deck that you have to change. Yeah. And it's like, it's like the expensive half of the deck that you have to change, but I'm still gonna keep it. Nice. <laughs> well, if like if it turns out that that deck is just not as consistent then hey you just go back to the old stuff it's like yeah uh, well no that's that's the plan overall is i'm gonna whenever mm-hmm. like new sets come out that has some viable options i'm still gonna buy it and then i'm just gonna sell whatever i don't use mm-hmm. but i'm gonna keep everything in a backup binder that way i can always change it back to what i want yeah like that's what i did for uh for re-zero when it was jp only like, like i played I bought like the new stuff that I wanted to test out, which was Nexol Amelia combos, and like they're yeah. all in the binder, sitting it sitting here, probably in front of me. To be honest, nah, it's it's something I'm gonna just start doing. Like even for Goblin Slayer, mm-hmm. I have all this stuff to switch my deck back to standby. So I've got uh, my Bunny Girl playset sitting in a box, and I have a Madoka playset I'm working sitting in the binder. Wait, do you not have a deck built for your with your Bunny Girl stuff? I no, have. Yes. My- yeah, I do have the deck. I have the deck built, and I have my spare stuff sitting in a box. Oh, good. Okay. Because I, I, when I got the deck in like November or something, uh, I had all the whole playset, and then I left the whole playset in a box sorted so that I had my stuff. So uh-huh. here's a question for you, Connor. Yeah. Are, are, are you upset that they haven't announced Bunny Girl Set 2 in English? No. I'm I expect so it to be later on. Honestly, I'm I expect that they haven't announced Overlord. I'm upset uh, they haven't announced Franks. Overlord and I'm Franks upset probably we don't have happen. We don't have a Sword Art 10th, 10th anniversary. I, I as the way I see it is just shrug. It it happens, you know, like fuck, man. it's English, man. Later this year. <laughs> we suck. Yeah. Um just play JP. Yeah. Just yeah, pretty much. Right that's ahead. that's how that works. <laughs> that's that's why I got ReZero because it was JP only when I got it and like I didn't sell the deck because I kept it because it has a shit ton of foils in it. Uh, Guess who doesn't have JP decks? Actually, I do. I yeah. own two, you liar. three, three JP decks. Uh, I, own zero. I, was buy a, uh, I was buying a Frank's deck, but I can't currently. Because the world's because the world's ending. Hey, I'm trying I... to think how many JP decks I have. James, I don't think the world's ending. Um... I, I think I think this podcast is ending. Yeah. Do we want to move on to post show? Yeah. Oh, shit. We definitely move on to post show. Yeah. Uh, that's, that was what I was getting ready for. Nice segue, Four. Andrew. Woo! Post Thanks show. Thanks for out the podcast, guys. Uh, as always, we love all your support. Let us know what you guys three. think down in the comments. We have our we have our own Discord, so if you go out to patreon.com, you get at the one dollar level, you get access to that as well as seeing the podcast live and all the other content on the channel as well early. So make sure to do that. Uh, and as always, guys, we'll see you guys next time. James loves you. I do. Bye.